Hey everybody out there, it's Pastor John with your midweek reflection. I hope you're all staying warm in these frigid temperatures and hopefully you've been warmed up a little bit these last couple weeks as we've been talking about what love is, which is our series from 1 Corinthians 13. Um, this week we're talking a little bit about what love isn't. Uh, Paul says love uh, does not envy, love does not boast, love is not arrogant, love is not rude or disgraceful. And so I, I wanted to uh, encourage you to think about a time when you've experienced the ugliness of community. Uh, community gone wrong. Um, could have been at church. Uh, could have been in, a, in family. Um, maybe uh, so just some other place where um, uh, community and, and people got together to do life together and, and things went wrong and things uh, got a little painful um, and, and conflict arose and was not resolved very well. Um, what was that like? Um, but more than how did you experience it, what do you think was at the cause or at the heart of that uh, painful shadow side of community? Um, what beliefs, what attitudes, what thoughts, what, um, what actions even were at the heart of that? Uh, one of the things that I think Paul puts his finger on uh, in uh, 1 Corinthians 13 is um, how love is, a, uh, what gets in the way of love a lot of times is when we are just so wrapped up in ourselves. Um, uh, you know, in, in back in the um, early years of the Enlightenment in the Western, uh, Western world, uh, Rene Descartes is famous for having begun his uh, proof of God by saying, I think, therefore I am. Uh, these these I statements, um, but it's been documented that in other cultures, um, the philosophy uh, uh, and the source of identity is is less I think therefore I am as much as I or I am because we are. Um, and I wonder how much when you think about the church, or when you think about other communities you're in, how much of your thinking is about I and my preferences, my wants. How often do you use the term we? Uh, what will benefit us? What will be good for the whole community? When you're voting for um, an elected official, uh, do you ask how will this person benefit me or how will this person be good for the, the city or the state or the, or the country? Um, so just kind of listen to your thoughts in preparation for worship on Sunday and, and, and think to yourself, and it's not that um, I think because I am, or I think beca or I am because we are. Either of those are perfectly right, or there are no problems with either of those. But, uh, but just notice what, um, how how you tend to think uh, about community, and how you tend to think about your relationship to others in a given um, situation that you find yourself in. Um, as always, I look forward to worshiping with you on Sunday as we live the gospel life together. And until then, may God bless you.